Bonjour, uh, je m'appelle Taylor Momsen of The Pretty Reckless, and you are watching Hollywood PQ. You've performed in Quebec this this week, mm -hmm. and you're in Montreal tonight. Yes. How do you enjoy our beautiful, warm, and sunny province? It's, it's beautiful. It's cold. It is. <laughs> it's really cold right now, so I'm not enjoying the weather, but it's I, I love. I love, love, love Canada, especially French Canada. It's just, it's so pretty. Do you get recognized a lot here? Do people come to you and... Yeah. <laughs> Some lot? girl in Starbucks yesterday tweeted me. She created a Twitter camp to yes. tweet me to ask if that was me. We totally saw that <laughs> early. Back, I was like, yeah, it was. So. That's cool. Did you learn a little, a little French while you're um, here? I got bonjour, bonsoir, and au revoir. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> you probably practiced merci as merci. well. Merci. I got that yes, one too. Of course. Um, merci beaucoup. Yes. Um, so you've been on tour for a long time now, um, and there are only four shows left for this tour, Going to Hell. It's the end already. Yeah. Do you plan on taking a little vacation anytime soon? Um, no, not a vacation. The The record, Going to Hell, is coming out in March of 2014, okay. so we start a world tour. Again. Again, but like a, a proper year-long, if not longer, world tour where we go everywhere. So this is like the warm-up run. It went really fast. I feel like it's, it's over already, but we'll be back in the studio and making videos for the next singles and all that stuff. So. Okay, good. How has it been? How is the Going to Hell tour going so far? It's been awesome. Um, it's been just great to be able to play every night again. Like We were all starting to rip our hair out not playing shows every night as, as a band. That's all you want to do. So um, it's been great to be back out on the road and we Any can't crazy wait to stories? continue. Oh, there's plenty, but nothing I'm putting on camera. <laughs> Looking at your videos and you put a lot of energies into those videos and the songs as well. They're very well written, by Thank the way. Um, I was curious as to how you would define the Pretty Reckless. Um, Pretty Reckless is a loud, ruckusy rock and roll band. Um, I try to write very honestly and write and, and hope people like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, your next album, Going to Hell. Let's talk about this album. Um, It will be released so in March 2014, you just told me. Um, how would you describe it? Uh, it's a very thoughtful record, is the word I would use. It's very, it's a lot heavier than Light Me Up. It's um, very strict production-wise. There's not a lot of production. It's just two guitars, bass, drums, vocals. So it's very raw. Um, and I think it really, this record, we honed in on our sound. So I think it, it defines kind of what the Pretty Reckless is and, and where it's going. Okay, good. And um, silly question, have you done anything reckless? Yeah. <laughs> like, recently? Recently? Nothing um, you would put on camera? Well, yeah, nothing I put on camera. I don't know, I did a power slide the other night at a show, though, and I I don't know if it's reckless, but it wasn't smart, because now my knee hurts really hurt? bad. Yeah, my knee's busted oh, no. up, but I'm walking with a limp. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know if... That's something. <laughs> something I can say on camera. <laughs> Good. Um, can you tell us a secret, something nobody knows about you, or a few people um, know about you? Or maybe something that people don't think is true about you? Or I don't know, because I don't really know what people think of me. So <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't really have an answer to that. Um, That's I'm pretty good. normal, I think. Yeah. That's, uh, that, uh, but I don't know what people's perspective of me is, so there's no proper answer. Do you think you are um, an example for your female fan base? Um, I guess I, I might be. I, I don't think of it like that because um, I'm just being me. You're doing um, your I'm thing. I'm just doing my thing. So if that inspires you in some way, then that's that's cool. But uh, it's not my intent by any means. I think be yourself and, you know, That you'll find the right people. <laughs> It might take some time, but you'll find the right people and you'll find your place in the world because you're meant to be here. Yes. Um, you've worked with a lot of big names like Evanescence and um, Guns N' Roses. You've made the first part of their tour. And um, I was wondering, do, is there anyone you would like to work with in the near future? Uh, like anyone new? Uh, anyone any you like. Um, there's so many no limits. People. Uh, I'd love to write a song with Noel Gallagher. I'd yeah. love to work with uh, Chris Cornell or just play with Soundgarden. I'd love to just open for Soundgarden. Just one show, just once. Yeah, that would be great. Because <laughs> I, I love them, so that would be pretty cool. Or Pearl Jam. 
or Black Sabbath, or I could just <laughs> keep going, or <laughs> all pretty much any band that I want to watch every night, I would love to tour with. <laughs> and I feel like the Pretty Reckless filled a really important void in the music industry with you being a really um, empowered and confident and, um, I mean, independent woman as a lead singer. Uh, do you feel like this band is considered or treated differently because of that, or does it make it easier? Or um. I don't really think it affects anything. It, it, you know, like when you're playing shows, I mean, we live in such a bubble of, of tour. It's you, you're really like, you're not you don't see a lot, you don't talk a lot. So, I don't know what people's perception of it is. I just know what the fans' reaction is when I see them on stage, and it seems to be positive. So, <laughs> probably um, sounds like it. But, um, you've said in an interview that uh, the goal was to be um, successful and not famous. Mm -hmm. Um, do you feel like you've achieved that goal? Um, I think to I think you I don't think you ever achieve that goal. I think it's kind of something that you're constantly working towards. You know, because you reach a certain level and then there's another level and then you reach another that level and then you go to another level. So I don't think that you ever really achieve it. I think the bigger goal of when I say success is is success to yourself is to write better songs than the last record and to be better than you were the last time around and to continue to grow as an artist and, and develop and be able to do it for as long as you live.